All right, YouTube, we're back for round three Edison format, Epic Cards and Games. We got David Provenzo on the left playing Gadgets, and we got Bob on the right playing Amaryllis Burn. We saw Bob play last round against Value Turbo. Bob's been on the channel a bunch. He's always playing the spicy text in his deck, or sometimes a spicy deck. And Bob just starts off with a basic T set. And if you guys are interested in David's deck, he has a, de he has a deck profile on my channel. He, he topped aided or he got fourth place at this large edison tournament we went to in more oklahoma so he's playing a similar deck but i think he's made a few changes so he hits let me keep track of life get red gadget into plague and set two back rows and i saw one of them is oppression so uh, oppression is going to hurt bob's Bob's deck pretty bad, so let's see. So Bob sets another back row. Oh, he's got Mirror Force in hand. Three back row and another monster. Well, I wonder what he said, Ryko? Sorry for the yawn. He said what, Ryko or Dandy? Necro, maybe? I always say this everybody. I hate playing against David because I have to shuffle his deck every turn. And... Sometimes I forget, man. I've 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 seen late in some duels I forget to give my opponent my deck to shuffle. I, I need to keep track of that. Okay, so now they both got four back row, but he's gonna attack into the face down. Looks like he didn't attack. Oh no, he is. But he's set before he attacked. That's weird. Bob's probably gonna, probably gonna mirror force. That's like the worst feeling. Mirror forcing two gadgets. What blind MST? What the heck? Ghost MST? I don't like ghost cards. The only ghost card I like is Honest. I don't know why. That's the only one I like. Oh, Morphing Jar. Wow. Why didn't he set the brain control and then Morphing Jar? What the heck, Bob? What are you doing, man? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what Bob is thinking. Could have kept that brain control. But you just... For, uh, you just loaded up David's hand, so... The good news is David always keeps all those cards. So maybe Mirror Forge and the Gadgets wasn't too bad because he had a Morphing Jar. But... And David lost one of his Pot of Avarices. I think we saw he had one in hand. And he takes 19 from Card Trooper. And what is Morphing Jar's attack? 800 or 600? I don't remember. But he hits with both. Uh, he's got Smashing Ground, Solidarity. What do you get here? Another for another Fortress? Unle yeah. So I don't think he has... He didn't dump one for the Morphing Jar. Wait, he dumped Lone Fire off of the Morphing Jar too? What? So he, he chose to summon Trooper over Lone Fire. I probably would have summoned the, card tro the Lone Fire, don't you think? And then he bottoms his fortress. Does David have anything to stop it? I think he side decks traps. I don't think he main decks it. But is he thinking about Solomon? Could have Book of Moon too. I think Book is worth it. Let's see if he goes for the Book. No, he lets he lets the bottomless go off. All right, now David's got three back row. What do you do here? So attacks over Car Trooper for what fourteen? So that's first damage for Bob. So I have him at 53 to 66. Yeah, I don't know if I agree with that to that card troop. I probably would have summoned Lone Fire. Well, he just he's got another Lone Fire, so who cares? But unfortunately for Bob, I feel like Titanio is not that much of a problem for David's deck because he plays like triple smashing ground trust me I know because he's beat me a few times with those triple smashing grounds I'll go for the dupe block he'll go smash <laughs> and I'll just I'm so upset all right okay he drew book so he's got book another gear frame solidarity oh but he summons the gadget instead he also plays scrap recycler I don't like that card but David swears it's a good card he and I have discussed it many times. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens here. Solidarity comes down. <clears throat> and then he's going to hit him for 26. 
All right, so I have him 53 to 4,000. Oh, the, Bob's got the life on top. I can't see that. My, I can't see Bob's calculator. Maybe you guys with good eye, good vision can see it. All right, so he trades in the Amaryllis. How many cards are in Bob's hand? He's got like five or six. He's got access to Amaryllis. Uh, oh, Lila, okay. What are you going to hit, though? Are you, you going to hit the Solidarity or another back row? Two bottomless are gone, so... Oh, he just compulses the Lila. That's unfortunate. If only Forbidden Lance was out during Edison format, that, that, that card would have been so good. It would have made a lot of decks better, and it would have been an amazing side deck card. Okay, so he... Now he brings back the Amaryllis, and he is going to Oppression the Amaryllis. I think he paid twice. Or did he pay once? I think he paid twice. It's the same thing, except he doesn't get a body. That's kind of like the only difference. You still take the 8. But especially against Dave in David's deck, he has to... He has to attack you for a, a, to win. It's not like he can like he doesn't play like Caius or you know Cal Sorcerer stuff like that. Dee Dee Warrior Lady. That's why the dupe block is so good against his deck. The only issue is he plays Smashing Ground. That's kind of like the only way he could deal with it. Or like Book of Moon, Compulse. So we know Mirror Force is gone, and he's going to hit him for, what, 22 here? I mean, this is game if he can't stop it, but he's going to call, and he's going to press the call. So hit him for 22 here. And this should be game if if, uh, if Bob can't stop it. Let's see what he's got. Yep. So Royal Oppression wins game one, and... I don't know. The, I don't like Morphing Jar. Let's see how game two goes. Bob's going to go first. I don't remember if these guys were X1 or... Oh, no. I think they were, they were both undefeated. Yes. I remember now. They were both undefeated. Round three. Four, four round local. A cut to top four. So, Bob. Pretty good opening. Ly Lila... Mills Dandy and has summons Amaryllis. And Davis summons... Wait, he bottomless the gear frame? What? Why? Why would you do this? Unless you're really hoping that... Ly Unless you want that Lila to stick. But if he's got any other machine in his hand... Yep. Exactly what I said was... And he takes 800... No, you save that bottomless, man. I, I get it. You're trying to protect your Lila, but man, that that fortress, you have no back row. It's coming out, man. Especially against gadgets. Maybe if he was playing against Ryan, those of you guys who watch the channel, Ryan's mocking a frog deck. Maybe his deck has less machines because he's mixing in with the frog engine, but a gadget deck? Especially David plays nine? Oh, he's going to have a... He's dropping fortress. It's coming out. Anyway, let's see what Bob does here. Did he tribute for Cyber Dragon? Oh, he did. In defense mode? What? Why well, no? Summon that thing in attack mode. Attack him. No. He was scared of Mirror Force, I think. And then here comes the gadget. So only Bob's taking damage. <laughs> and now he lost his Chimera Tech. See, this is just... This is not good. For Bob. And Bob sets a monster, passes. Here comes Yellow. I think David's got a bunch of monsters in hand. And what do you say? Ryko? Please be Ryko. Pop that back row. 
I've been saying I think I think Bob should maybe side in burial. Cause you have no way to get back Amaryllis. Okay, he milled a bunch of two spells and torrential. I think I think it's torrential. Yeah, it's torrential. But oh, he got a mirror force though. That's a nice hit. Now with Titan Titania is a much bigger threat now with that mirror force is gone. Ooh, another Cyber Dragon. See, if he would have hit with the first one. Wait, was he going to do Black Rose? No, is that play? No, no, what? I. Oh, there's no way he played. Does he play two Chimera Tech? Maybe he only plays one. Sorry. I think this deck has room for two Chimera Tech. Some people, if, I, I think if uh, there's some machine players, like if their opponent summons a second Chimera Tech, they're going to be like, they're going to be just frustrated. And I don't blame them. Because most people play one. But there's some decks that have room. And Bob's deck, I mean, he, well, he does play Debris Dragon and Plague Spreader. So maybe he doesn't have the room. I don't know. Okay, so he summons green, dumps red. Yeah, green, dump red. He set Lone Fire? Okay, nice. He's going to stall. Most of the time they said Debris Dragon, not Lone Fire. But luckily, David's gadget deck, the only, uh, none of the gadgets can run over a defense mode. A defense mode lone fire except with solidarity. Gear frame can, but gear frame's technically not gear frame's not a gadget monster. Alright, so he's got spells in hand. <laughs> Look, he said two lone fires. <laughs> That's hilarious. Ooh, lightning vortex. I like that card. I, I that card might be worth it in the side deck. That just that just came in clutch. You got rid of uh, the gadgets, and you got rid of a, a Dyna Major Lone Fire live. He gets Titanium, and oh, this this duel might turn around in Bob's favor. Even though I don't agree with some of the moves he made early on, like, but let's see. Yeah, attack Mirror Force is gone. You one hundred percent attack. Okay, so he crows Amaryllis. I'm gonna tell you, I probably play Limber Reverse in this deck, man. You really need to get to like Lone Fire and Dandelion. Cause like you want Titania with tokens. Like I think if if, if he had a Titania with tokens, and there comes uh, he'd be in a good spot. But here comes David with the Scrap Recycler, a card that I don't like. Oh, and I just realized this: DD Crow is gonna shut off David's Solidarity. I wonder if he cited out Solidarity because uh, for those who, who watch his deck profile, he lost one of his rounds at, at that tournament in Oklahoma because he brought out a Stardust Dragon with Starlight Road and then the Stardust turned off his Solidarity because you have to have like only one type and the Crow is going to make his Solidarity to death. So I'm, I'm curious if he cited it out. Maybe he did. Maybe he'll let us know in the comments. Okay. So now David's got three back rows. Mirror Force is gone. But if he got a deep prison, see, this is why. Yeah, you're just gonna tribute to negate. See, this is not the Bob's not in the best situation. That's why I talk about you want tokens with Titanium. So he scrap recycles again. Draws another card. I mean, yeah, Scrap Recycler is good when it sticks when it stays on the field. Kind of like Ocean, Elemental Hero Ocean. When it stays on the field, it's really good. And he drew Smashing Ground and out to Titanium. What's Ball's life? So I have him at 52 to 6,000. I don't know the attack of that Scrap Recycler. I think it's a 900. I'm going to guess it's 900. I could be wrong, though. Okay. I have live 52 to 37. 
Let's see what Bob can do. I don't, how many cards are in David's hand? I can't tell because he plays his hand face down. Yeah, Bob. Bob looks like he's in trouble now. He just set a back row. And Recycler's going off for a third time. I think. Does he have enough machines? No wonder David thinks this card's good because <laughs> it just stays on the field. <laughs> All right, so I'm in a gadget. Oh, he cited Soul Release. Yeah, that card is... I hope people don't pick up on it and start side decking. It hurts my frog deck really bad. Almost to the point I got to side differently. Like I've been thinking about siding out my uh, hero engine. So he hits for 26. So now... Yeah, Bob's really low on life. Ooh, he pro set heavy gets rid of bottomless. I can't see the other trap. Charge for MST debris dandy. Ooh, mill dandy off a of charge. Okay, so the play I didn't like that Bob did was when he bottomless the gear frame. I don't think it mattered too much though. Because he had a Cyber Dragon. Maybe he's like, I don't care if you drop the Chimera Tech because I'm a... The Fortress because I'm a Chimera Tech you anyway. But still, you'd rather have the Fortress banished. All right, so he summons Lila. Probably going to bring out Amaryllis. Oh, no, he just has Plague in there? What can he make? He can make Brio. He can make Goyo. Or Armory Arm. I don't know if I like Armory Arm. Maybe you're better off making Goyo. Unless you're going to attack over two of his monsters. Maybe that's why he's going for the Armory Arm. Yeah. So you attack over, what, both gadgets? Or the... No, you definitely attack over the... So he hits him for 300. And then attacks over who? The gadget? Wait. You left the Scrap Recycler up? Can you not deal? What, what's that thing's defense? Let me go look it up. I have to look it up now. Maybe that thing's got a big defense. Let me go check. Okay, yeah, it was nine hundred attack, twelve hundred defense. No, you should have you should have killed that recycler because na can't he now put cards back? You just let him put cards back. I think. I hope not. I hope I'm wrong. Let me let me read the scrap recycler. I think it's like you return. Machines, right? Shuffle two level four earth machines. Yes, yeah, so you just gave him two, right? You attacked both his gadgets. Now he has two machines so he can return and draw a card. Yeah, yeah, he's going to do it. So you just gave him the you just gave him the thing. Yeah, you should have attacked over there. You gave him a free draw. Yeah, I don't see no solidarity, so I'm pretty sure David cited it out. Because he's got smashing ground and he equipped... He equipped the armory arm to Lila. Now that's going to get smashing ground. And Fortress is out on the field now. Yeah, it doesn't protect you. I think this is just a game right here. If Bob doesn't have anything. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is game. He, he's checking for Necrogarna. He doesn't have Necrogarna. So GG's. Hope you guys enjoyed that duel. Congrats to David. Moving on 3-0. Guaranteed, yeah, 3-0, guaranteed a spot in top four, and we'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.